Welcome to the Global Symposium for Regulators 2019 here in Port Villa, Vanuatu, where I'm very pleased to be joined in the studio today by Ria Sen, who is Preparedness Officer for the Emergency Telecommunications Cluster Technology Division of the World Food Programme. Ria, welcome to the studio. Thank you so much, Max. It's a pleasure to be here and in Vanuatu. Ria, perhaps we can start off with uh, talking a little bit about the simulation exercise uh, that you carried out here at uh, the GSR. Uh, you carried out a similar one at another ITU event, GET, in Mauritius. Perhaps you could tell us a little bit about it. Sure, Max. I would be happy to. So we had around 300 participants from all over the world with a sizable number of the regulatory community represented as well as national governments. And the objective of our simulation, which was run by the Emergency Telecommunication Cluster, the ET, of which I am a part, was uh, to actually help regulators to understand the criticality of their role and also the value of regulatory frameworks and interventions in different phases of the disaster management cycle. So through that exercise, the objective was for regulators as well as the wider ICT community to determine what were the roles and functions in a disaster scenario and how they can actually improve their systems, frameworks and capacity to be able to meet the needs of disasters. Because regulators are not usually on the front line when it comes to an absolutely, emergency. Absolutely, absolutely. But their role is absolutely critical. And in terms of the exercise itself, how do you, how do you think it went? Well, we had a, a few chats with a couple of the participants uh, post-simulation, but also we had some wonderful interventions during the simulation, which lead us to believe that the participants were um, very much satisfied with the content, but also had a lot of new directions to think in. And I think that the way that we structured the exercise following the preparedness, impact and response phase helped regulators and the ICT community to understand their role at each stage of the disaster. So pre-disaster at the preparedness level, when the disaster actually strikes, and then post-disaster in terms of what actions and impact it it, it might have on the community at large and what they can do to mitigate this. Talk us a little bit through how the simulation exercise was devised. I mean, what, what steps did they did the participants uh, take? Uh, I know there were um, QR codes that they needed to right. log into and things like that. Perhaps you could just give us a little a brief insight sure. into that. Sure. So essentially, the simulation was uh, centered around a tropical cyclone, a fictitious cyclone that we call TC Uti, and um, we devised a fictitious country around that called the Lovely Islands. And um, these countries have some kind of um, similar configuration to um, countries that might be in island nations that are very vulnerable. So I think that that might have had some resonance with a couple of the participants coming from vulnerable small island developing states. And um, also, I think that uh, the way that we decided to structure the exercise was um, in a little bit of an innovative way, noting that we had about just an hour to run the exercise. So the idea was to um, prepare a few uh, regulatory themed scenarios to pose thinking questions oriented around different phases of disaster management. And um, we then suggested um, different options that the participants might choose. And uh, they could use their um, internet enabled devices to be able to vote in real time. And it was a really fun activity as well because all the participants were um, using their devices to um, convey their views and no answer was right or wrong. Each answer is just a question of situational perspective and um, I guess, regulatory priorities. And that's something which came out a lot in the result discussion following the um, app and the poll. And what do you hope people will take away from this exercise? Well, I think that the exercise ultimately points at the fact that um, regulatory frameworks and systems cannot be developed in isolation with um, understanding the bigger disaster management ecosystem and then working across different sectors within the national government, but also um, with the private sector to be able to also harness the potential that innovations in technology have to be able to meet disaster risk. Yes, well, thank you very much for joining us thank in the you. studio and we look forward to catching up with you again in another uh, simulation exercise. Thank perhaps. you so much, Max. Pleasure. Okay. Cheers. Thank you.